Hi everybody. I am here to do my melting basket for week seven. Wow, week seven, that's almost the last one. Getting super, super close. So week seven is February 13th through February 19th. And we all know what day lands in there. Um, so the theme is love is in the air. Let me pull the paper because I can't read that far. Uh, love is in the air. Happy Valentine's week. Melt wax this week that is red, pink, or white, or a combo of all three. Celebrate love. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thought. Celebrate love. Um, it's an important thing in the world. Um, I definitely want to celebrate love. So I have a basket full, very full, of red, pink, and white wax that I wanted to try to work on for this week. So, and I did say in, in a previous video, it's probably like a long time ago now for you, uh, that I was going to take advantage and get this video done because I already had the basket ready. And I thought, you know what, while I have some time off that I don't have to rush to try to get this done, I'm going to do it today and I'll just upload it for that day. So here we go. I have from, uh, this is one that I've been holding since the summertime. This is from the pharmacist's daughter. It's called Giggle Juice and it's champagne, pink lemonade, lemon sugar, and strawberry. And it's one of those, looks like a little cup with a straw. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna do Giggle Juice. I pulled um, some custom cuts that I have from Kay's Scented Melts. Let's see. One is she had offered, she had like, I guess like some extra cut bags that she had of a couple of different scents and she was offering them. This was quite a few weeks ago. I mean, this was probably in December. And so I had picked up the one of each of the two that she talked about. I think it was two. And one of them was succulent strawberry and you know i've never been much for strawberry but this one is really really good i think this is the one that's kind of starting to turn me around on strawberry so i'm gonna warm that and then the other three custom cuts that i have from her are actually customs that i did so and this was let's see one was uh one that I had come up with that I just, I really liked the combination. And it was blackberry frankincense, patchouli linen, and nag champa. And I know that a lot of people don't like nag champa, but oh my gosh, do I love nag champa. So it's kind of a pink color. So I am definitely gonna do that one. And then the other two customs were ones that I had done as part of my attempt to do like a Sherlock Holmes, right? I did Sherlock Holmes and then I had some of the other characters that I did customs for. So I did Enola, which was Emerald Agave, Tea and Cakes, and Love Spell. And Emerald Agave is such a good scent. It It's a powerhouse, it throws like crazy and it smells fantastic. So that was definitely going in there. And then the other one, so that one was kind of like a white color. And then this one is like a darker pink color. And this one is Moriarty and it's black, amber, lavender. Uh, oh, black, amber, lavender. That's right. It was black, black, amber, lavender, cherry, almond, and black sugar. Um, <laughs> I know this is one that Casey wouldn't like as she thinks, she thinks black sugar smells to her like motor oil, but oh my goodness. In here, I, well, I like black sugar. I think it smells really, really good. And truly in here, I think you get a lot of the cherry almond. <sighs> oh, and the cherry is there, had a reason for being in there. So I think I explained it when I did my video on the customs when I did it then. So I had uh, two left over from one of the other weeks of Britta's Autumn Coffee. And they're red, so I thought, oh, perfect. I can use them one day for a coffee scent in the kitchen. Let me pull these little cups out of here. I have three here from Vic uh, Candles by Victoria. I have XOXO, 
And the F I think I have on there is, is it fruity? I think that's what it was supposed to stand for, fruity. Um, this one I put a B for bakery and that is cherry cobbler. This one smells amazing. I do remember that. I'm not gonna sit here and smell them all right now. And then another one with an F for fruity of volcano type. So I thought those all red would be great to do that week. Then I have another little, like a little cup. And this was from, uh, this would have been a sample that I got from Vintage Chic and it's cursed and it's spicy, sweet cinnamon, cherries, and hints of orange peels. And I do remember this one smelled really good when I smelled it. And of course I smelled everything before I put it into the basket because I wanted to make sure everything seemed like something I would like anyways for the week. Then I have a little sample piece that I had gotten from Destination Wax in strawberry berry sauce. It says fruity dessert sauce of strawberry, blackberry, raspberry, lychee, and sweet rambutan, which I have no idea what that last one is but I think I'm gonna enjoy it. I have another little like uh, cup and this is from Glitterati and I have yet to try anything from Glitterati. I had gotten, I had won one of those like boxes that you can buy and I haven't warmed any of the stuff yet. So I was like, now's the time. So I pulled this one since it was pink and it's hibiscus guava fresca. I'm trying to fit this stuff in here. Oh. I definitely needed to do this one. I love this scent. This is from Hayden Rowe. I got a little ducky sample of Rocket Pop. I like her Rocket Pop. It is so good. Uh, I have another sample that I had gotten from Britta's and this one is Swim Trunks and Bloody Hunks. Hawaiian Pineapple, Mango, Maraschino Cherry, and Bora Bora. That one, that'll probably be like a kitchen one. This one is from the bathing garden and it's a little, like a little bunt, I guess, kind of thing. And this is summer in a jar. And man, I wonder if I can get closer to the, so I can show better. I, I need longer arms. Uh, from Jim's Daughter Crafts, I have one called Magical Princess, Melon, Mandarin, Orange Blossom, Star Jasmine, Rose, Vanilla, and Musk. And it's like a little, little snap bar. And another one from Jim's Daughter Craft. Oh, yeah. This one's called Southern Pop, and it's a blend of soda pop and black cherry bomb. So that's going to be another kitchen one. I may not have much coffee, but I'm going to have some nice fruity scents for the kitchen. All right, I'm trying to pull out all these little souffles that I have from different vendors. Hey. All right, let's see. This one is from Hayden Row. I got this one back in July. I have it marked as receiving in July. And this is lychee fizz. So I've got a souffle of that. And also from Hayden Row, this one's from September. I have a souffle of lemon wood. This one was one that, as much as I love lemon, I kind of expected it to smell different. I don't know how it's going to do on warm because I haven't warmed it, but I wasn't as crazy about it when I sniffed it on coal. This one's from the pharmacist's daughter from back in August, and it's called Oak and Apple. And it's Mac Apple and Vanilla Oak. So fit the, fit the color profile. So I went with it. This one, I'm going with the fact that it's white. It's probably more of a cream color, but I thought, you know, I don't want to just do soda and, you know, in the kitchen. So this one, since it has coffee house, I was like, I'm, I'm going with it. It's called Freshly Baked. It's coffee house, pie crust, zucchini bread, and funnel cake. And I just got it in December. So I'm, I may only cut a little bit off of that one because given that I just got it in December, it might not quite be ready. Another one from Hayden Row. I didn't put a date on this one. Oh, well, uh, but it's been a while since I got it. This one's called Barbie Girl. And it's Barbie Girl on the February, oh, today is the 4th. I just realized I missed the launch. <laughs> now you know when I'm filming this. I filmed this on February 4th and um, 
I think the launch already started, which is probably good for me because then what I want will already be sold out. So Barbie Girl, I kind of thought that was in there, but maybe it was a different one that just kind of reminds me of that name. This one's from September, also from Hayden Rowe, and it's Driftwood. I thought this would be nice to do in my bedroom. From Hayden Rowe, from September also, Raspberry Sugar. And then this one I thought would be good just to kind of put like in the mudroom and maybe in the half bath. Um, this one's from back in July. It's called Squeaky Clean from Hayden Rowe. That one, that's what it smells like, something squeaky clean. Uh, oh, I found another sample, must have fallen out of the basket, from Destination Wax, and this one was Pink Roses and Chocolate. Uh, a decadent scent of rich chocolate, sweet berries, and fragrant pink roses. If that does not sound like a perfect scent to do on Valentine's Day, right? Rich chocolate, berries, and pink roses. Yep. Valentine's Day, that's that's getting done. And Valentine's Day is going to be a Tuesday, right? Because, no, Monday. Because Sunday will be the 13th. So Monday is going to be the 14th. And I took that day off. Yes, I did. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna warm that one and enjoy the scent with my husband. All right. Uh, this is the one that I don't particularly like saying the name of. This one was... One of the ones I got in my Valentine's Day sampler from Made to Melt. Such a pretty little heart, pink and white. And yeah, you you meant to take my cherry. That I, I just feel very awkward saying that. Very awkward. Uh, L3 Waxy Wonders, moving on to the next one. L3 Waxy Wonders, I have a puppy pack here of Sweeney Todd, which is shaving cream, blue sugar, and vanilla patchouli, or just vanilla and then patchouli. Definitely things that I'm going to like. I think that's going to do well. I'm probably going to go in my bedroom. I went ahead and pulled this uh, Empire Alchemy one that I got, and I got this one months and months and months ago. So I don't even remember how long, but um, it's called Bougie. And it's Boom Boom Cream Type, Toasted Pistachio, Toasted Marshmallow, and Cotton Candy Cocktail. And the, the bottom part of it is kind of lavenderish color, but the top is pink. So I'm going with it. And maybe I'll save it for later in the week. That way, if I can't get to it, then I won't feel like I did something that wasn't really pink. All right, this one is from L3 Waxy Wonders. I got it back in July, and it's Pink Mustache. And by far the most requested scent, I'm reading what it says. By far the most requested scent. Pink sugar makes up the pink of pink mustache. Pistachio makes up the stash part and a secret savory scent makes up the rest. So I have a puppy pack of that. Um, so I wanna use that. Let's see, a couple more things. Got a little pink rose in a sample from L3 Waxy Wonders of elderflower and apple blossoms. And I will say, if you're not a floral person, you would not want this. This is extremely floral, but I like it. I think it's very pretty. Then I have a couple of little shot cups, one pink, one white. And I thought these would probably go well, like in my half bath, where I could just put a little piece of something. And they're both from Jim's Daughter Crafts. And one, the pink one is Watermelon Candy. And the white one is Gain Type. So I'm gonna do those. Oops, about to drop them. All right, oh, there was two more. Didn't see them behind the clams that I had right there. All right, two more little shots, a darker pink and a very light pink. And the dark pink is from Jim's Daughter Crafts and Mac Apple. As you can see, I love fruity scents. And this other one is one that I had gotten from Made to Melt and it's in apple flower. So not, not fruity, but floral. But you can get a little apple in there. Holy moroli, smells fantastic, fantastic. Also from Made to Melt, I love this uh, scent and I love doing it in my bedroom. I think it does fantastic. It's um, it's a twisted beach. 
So basically it is a combination of like a peppermint with uh, beach nights. Absolutely adore that one for my bedroom. And then the last things in here are a couple of clams from, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like picking this up going, uh, that's not pink. That's how discolored it is. This is an obviously an old, one of my old bring back my bars of pink haze. As you see, the label is pink and the wax is supposed to be pink. So I know it's supposed to be pink. If I were to pull a fresh one, it would be pink, but I might as well get rid of the old one. So pink haze from the uh, license collection. It's the Disney, Disney princess true love awaits. And this was one that when I had received it, uh, I think it was during the summer and it was like really hot and it got all funky and kind of melted a little bit all over the edges. So I want to finish this one. And since it's pink, I'm going to do that. Then of course I figured I love this scent. I pulled another one of just one bite from the villains collection. I love that apple scent that is in there. And from the mix it collection, I've, had, I've been holding on to this one. It is juicy apple raspberry. I thought that would be another one. As you can see, there is a large fruity theme in here, but oh, we're getting to that point where I'm really, really going to love the scents that I have going. I, as much as I love manly scents and I adore manly scents, uh, I would almost put that neck and neck with fruity for me. I just love fruity scents. So that is my melting basket for week seven. The love is in the air theme. I hope that you're going to be participating. I hope that you have um, a wonderful Valentine's Day. You whether, whether you have a special someone or not, I love you. I, I have my actual Valentine, but I love you. God loves you. There's always love in the air for everyone, no matter whether you think you see it or not, it's there. And I hope you have a great week. And until next time, enjoy your sense, enjoy your day, and enjoy your journey. Talk to you later. Bye.